in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the preset speeds functionality on an ATV320 drive. So the preset speeds are in a way um, predefined speeds that you can toggle on uh, to go to a specific speed as the name says and you can have individual speeds that are combined for each logic input but you also can have combined uh, digital inputs that can give you a different speed. So, so off the bat let's just show you how to get to that menu and how to program these in general. So what you want to do from the main display is press the enter key, your dial, go down to C O N F, enter, go down to full, enter, go down to fun, enter, and then you want to go down to P55 dash, enter. Alright, so you have the parameters P52, P548, and 16 here, okay? And if you put NRP52, uh, it says no assignment right now, but you can change it to whatever logic input you want. Uh, the most common ones are like logic input 3 or 4 or 2 as an example, only because LI1 is normally or DI1 is normally a run forward, so there might be already be predefined inputs on a certain logic input. But for our purposes here, we're going to go ahead and program LI3 or DI3, which is the same thing as LI3 by the way. Uh, as your first preset, so you just want to enter on that. And the second preset, we're going to program PS4 to LI4 or DI4, same thing. And for the uh, PS8, we're going to just say no assignment. So we're going to have only two logic inputs. And what we're going to do basically is that we're going to program your first preset as, let's say, 30 hertz, and the second preset as 60 hertz. And we're going to go one step further and say, okay, if we have both LI3 and LI4 programmed uh, or assigned and turned on, then we're going to go to 45 hertz, just to uh, give you another example. All right? So, once we program the logic inputs, which is the PS numbers, so PS2, 4, 8 are the actual digital inputs you have to assign them to, but the speeds themselves in the same menu you have to find the SP2, 3, so on and so forth, okay? So we want to assign the SP2 to 30 hertz. Again, this is the first speed, SP2. So let's go down to 30, and then enter. And the next one is SP3, which is what we want to, say we want to do, 60 hertz. All right, 60, enter. And the last speed is 45. When you have both of those logic inputs turned on, we want 45. So let's go to 45 for this one. All right. So once it's all programmed, you can escape back out to your main screen, give it a run command from DI1, and with the first preset, which is DI3, it'll go to 30. All right. With the second preset, it'll go to 60 and with DI3 and DI4 turned on it'll go to 45. So that hopefully will help you uh, determine how to program this particular function. Now keep in mind that um, you can program the presets as a uh, network commanded uh, functions as well so you can assign a particular bit to be a preset as well but this particular video only shows you the one where you assign a terminal uh, DI3 and DI4 as an example for a preset speed functionality on the ATV320 drive.